<laughs> or is it all just under the hat there? He definitely shaved. Anyway, Vegas does not seem to be too concerned about the toe. Right now, Rodgers, as you see, in a tie with Josh Allen for the second shortest odds to win MVP. They're both chasing Tom Brady, who is currently the favorite to win that award. And, and look, at the end of the day, what we are looking at, with all due respect to all the names on that screen, are two of the all-time great quarterbacks, Tom Brady mm -hmm. at 44, Aaron Rodgers, who will be 38 tomorrow, and they look like they are right at the top for the chance to go to the Super Bowl. So here's the question I want to ask. Which one of them do you think has the team around him that put, gives him the better chance to make the run all the way to the Super Bowl this year? Is it Brady with his Bucks yeah. or Rodgers with his pack? Go. I think it's Rodgers with the pack this year. Uh, the way that they've been able to run the ball and depend a lot on that running game and ask him to make fewer plays, and then he makes outstanding plays is impressive. But the real story is how good this defense has been in recent mm -hmm. weeks and consistently, even with injuries in the secondary. Quite possibly the best corner in the league, Jair Alexander, has been out for several weeks, and they're playing great defense. They're going to him back. They're going to get their left tackle back, all pro left tackle, Bakhtiari back. And this team gets better. They add Smith back to the defensive front. This team is going to get better, and they already are incredibly good the way that they're playing now. Shockingly, you disagree. I disagree with Dominique. <laughs> Shocking. Um, the reason is because I watch these two teams. Like, I cover the NFC title game, and I watch Brady's Bucks beat the Packers, and the same team came back this year. Like, Brady, top. Thomas Edward. Like, how, like, honestly, I trust him more than anybody. Just because we've seen him do it, he's the GOAT. But when you look at the roster, he's got two number ones. Like, Antonio Brown is coming back. He's got the best tight end in Gronk. Like, they have a good defense. They've had injuries. We talk all show about injuries and how teams aren't complete. Well, the Bucs have had to deal with injuries, especially in their secondary. So, I actually think the Bucs are better. Tim Hasselbeck, who's got the better supporting cast, Brady or Rodgers? I think it's Green Bay. I agree with a lot of what Dominique said about, you know, guys Shocking. that they you are going to be getting back. This show. And I then know. the other aspect of it is when you look at A.J. Dillon and what he has added to the football team, it's really been incredible, whether it's been situationally being able to run the football, you know, short yardage, goal line situations, and then the fact that he's been anything but a liability in the passing game. You know, he's actually been outstanding, good in pass protection, good catch in the football, and good run after the catch. Go back and look at this guy's combine numbers. He is a clone for Derrick Henry. Like, he's that big, that powerful, that explosive, and now you put him in an offense where it's not featured around him. So, look, I think that that element has made them a really, really difficult team to beat. I'm Tim just saw your turtleneck no, this morning you know, and was like, right. I'm going to go with A.J. Dominic. Dillon has That's become fun. my favorite player in the whole league yeah. to watch. A booger, how about it? Which, 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 who's got the two legendary quarterbacks? Who's got the better group around and the better team to take him all the way? Well, I, I think if we're talking about both teams being completely healthy, the Packers getting Jair Alexander and Zadarius Smith, the Buccaneers getting Antonio Brown, getting their entire secondary back, I would go with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It's amazing how we forget that we got on these programs, get up, first take all these different shows, and we were just giddy that the Bucs were bringing back all 22 starters. We were talking about can they win every game. I remember all those conversations, and now all of a sudden we just forget that. When the Buccaneers get healthy, when their defensive secondary comes back whole, when A.B. and Gronk and everybody's there, when their offensive line is there, they still have the same team that went into Green Bay, and I get it. It was a different defensive coordinator, but they went into Green Bay and they took Aaron Rodgers' lunch. I think they're ready for it. I think the Buccaneers understand that everybody's gunning for them. And they are just kind of laying in the weeds while we talk about Green Bay and Arizona and all these other teams. Look for the Bucs later this month and into January. When they get their team whole, they'll make, make a run. And I think they're still the team to beat TV. in the NFC. Like it. That's two and two. I mean, and that gives you an indication of just how interesting this is going to be. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.